I think it was a couple years ago, I got a comment asking if you could sand while you're cutting on the table saw, as in, you know, glue sandpaper onto the side of the blade, and that way when you're running it through, not only would it make the cut, it would also sand the edge of the board. So, at the time, I can't recall exactly what I said, but I, th I thought it was an interesting idea. And certainly worth a try, okay? So, I've got a blade here, and I went through the ones that I have to pick out one that's suitable. And what I mean by suitable, it has to have the right uh, tooth set on the side for the sandpaper to fit in and be sticking out just the right amount. So I think I have it here. So the first thing that I need to do is take off the blade that I have in the saw now and put this one on and make a cut and see how smooth the cut will be just with the blade itself. That's not the sharpest blade I have. It's a few years old, but it is a good quality one, and it did make a nice clean cut. I can, however, see uh, semicircular cut marks on here, but it does feel very smooth. Now let's see if we can improve upon that by adding sandpaper to the side of the blade. I've already taken the saw blade back off of the saw, and I laid out a circle on this piece of sandpaper. This is 100 grit. So, there'll still be a little bit more sanding after this to get, you know, a finer finish, but this should get me in the ballpark. So I'm just very carefully cutting it out with my scissors here, and then I'm going to use spray adhesive to glue it onto the blade. And hopefully that holds it on well enough so that it doesn't come off when I'm using the saw. I want to make sure that this is really well adhered along the outer rim of the sandpaper because I think that's where it's going to come loose if it does. We're going to find out very soon. <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like. So I've got the blade put back in and move the fence over. I'm closer to the blade this time. I want to cut it so that I have this piece left over so I'll be able to do a direct side-by-side -side comparison after I make this cut. <laughs> wow <laughs> wow okay as you can see from the picture it is a lot smoother and I was actually very surprised that this worked okay the sandpaper looks 
the same as when I put it on, not damaged at all. It didn't fly off when I started the saw, which is amazing in my opinion. I, I don't know, This I thought it was gonna cut slower. I thought it was gonna really bog down. I thought the paper was gonna start to tear off. But I guess the combination of the blade set, like the width of the teeth, and the thickness of the paper is very good. So I got just the right effect so that I'm actually cutting the wood and I'm actually sanding it at the same time. Thank you.